Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more Crash Bash. We're in Warp Room 4, and we're getting the gems now, going into Sky Balls. I've tried this for a bit. It's pretty hard. Yeah, you know those exploding balls in the final boss? Yeah, they're here now. Avoid touching the special balls. These balls do not score. But in the final boss, the those exploding balls would just appear as normal balls being thrown in. Here, they get the normal balls get turned into these exploding balls randomly when a character uses their extra kick. And it turns the balls quite often. And you really gotta hope that the balls don't make a horizontal shot next to you. You do have some 3D movement here. So, uh, yeah, cause you're on a curve. So that's something that could potentially help you dodge. To, to dodge a horizontal ball, but sometimes there's just not much you can do. You just can't know. You just can't know when it's gonna turn or where it's gonna go. You can't react fast enough. But yeah, so... You're always in danger in this one since, you know, these explosive balls will kill you instantly. And because of that, they made it so each character only has 10 points starting off. You know, this would also take longer than a normal game since red balls don't score. Three, two. So yeah, they had to decrease the total amount of points there are. Two red balls are always scary. I almost went straight into that red ball. No! What am I supposed to do about that? There's no way you can react fast enough to dodge that. Oh, come on! Screw you, stage! Three, two, one, go! Okay, the stage actually saved me there. Thank you, stage. I accept your apology. That was so scary. I really hate having multiple red balls up there at once. 
We're doing well, but that can be taken away in an instant with one red ball. Or just with getting scored on a bunch. But we're we're doing good as far as score goes. It's just survival that's going to be tricky. Cortex is out. Rilla Roo is out. Don't tilt it my way, stage. Yes! Koala Kong is out. We have won it. Oh my gosh. These ball games. And that's not our last ball game challenge, because while we do have all the trophies, uh, gems, and crystals on all of the ball games now, we've still got a couple relics on each one. Anyways, moving on to Manic Panic. What will the gimmick be this time? Do I want to know? Start the level on foot. Three, Wonderful. Two, I guess we're going to be doing this entirely with bombs, because I sure as heck aren't going to be knocking anyone off the stage. And I missed everyone with that bomb. I was hoping someone would have an anvil. How did someone fall off? What happened? All right, that was easy. I'm very happy about that. What a wonderful turn of events. Everyone got defeated in a different way there. On to Pogo Padlock. The only way to color squares is by stealing them from other players. Three, two, one, go. And how does one steal from other players? Wait, does hitting someone with a missile steal the- it totally does! Why have I never known this? Okay, so we've got to be good with the missiles. Now, first, the first challenge is actually getting a missile. I was so going to steal all of Koala Kong's stuff, but then I got shot. So the first hard part is getting a missile. Next hard part is hitting someone with it that has a lot of stuff. Next hard part after that is getting to a box before someone steals all your stuff back. Gosh darn it. This is gonna be brutal, isn't it? I missed. Is anything gonna come into this corner here? Do not steal my stuff. They have so much points. I cannot catch up. You fail. Okay, at least I understand how this works now. Go. And I missed with my missile, of course. Of course I did. It is called a missile after all. Gosh darn it, it is gonna be so hard to hit people with this. Mm, 
man, Koala Kong was like, it was like he was trying to avoid me there. I was just waiting for him and he wouldn't come. He's doing it again. And it's really hard to aim with the depth perception. Like, I can aim forward and backward fine. But left and right is tricky, even though we're on a grid. Oh yeah, that's a lot of points. I'm sure it's... Yeah, it's definitely too late to catch up, though. You fail. Way too late. Two, one, go. I mean, I guess I just gotta get good at aiming. It's easier said than done, though. Like, I'm just not getting any chances to hit these guys. Every time I get in position, they move out of position. Or, like, their... their pieces disappear or something. I totally shot that upward. Get out of here, game. I was aiming for Koala Kong. Yeah, I can't get any points. This is ridiculous. Don't just immediately cover my stuff back up. I'm at a bad enough disadvantage as it is. Really, I just got all my stuff stolen from me. I got so much and it was all taken away. They don't even that high have high scores this time. But I only have four. Because I just never got a chance to steal from anybody. I mean, Crash Bash is a fun game, but as I said before, there will be lots and lots of salt. Come on. Thank you for getting into my line of fire, Rillaroo. But Cortex is still ahead of me, that's a problem. Stop going zigzaggy! Alright, I just barely pulled ahead, but it's not gonna stay that way for long. Thank you for being stupid, Koala Kong. I've got so much, but there's no crates near me to help me bank it. I don't have enough after all that. I did so well, and I did not get enough. The thing is, everything needs to be by you and line up just perfectly. Otherwise, you can't do it. Why can't I hit them? Alright, I claimed so much, I'm taking all of that. I didn't even get to see how much it was because the number was off screen. Okay. 
I think we're in the clear. Like, I don't think they're gonna catch up that much. Koala Kong could be a threat here. So let me steal his stuff. Okay, yeah, I won. Oh, Rilla Roo is catching up. But I've still won. Okay. That was brutal, but we made it. On to Drain Bash. What's it gonna be this time? Be careful how you open the special crates. Okay, I'm totally gonna get insta-killed here. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I assume I have to throw them? Otherwise they act as nitro- How'd he get the power from the crate that I threw? What garbage! I guess the power-up just lays on the ground if you throw it. Good, I got that that attack to go towards Cortex, and I totally forgot that I need to throw the crates. Thankfully, I survived anyways. Cortex got to it first. He actually saved me there. And now he's dead. Of course he got the power up. Oh no, not this one. I'm so screwed. No one got any power-ups there? That's weird. That's not how that's supposed to work. Okay, they're all hurting pretty bad except for Rillaru, who is now hurting bad because I just pummeled him. Well, Koala Kong got an overpowered item but then immediately died, so it's fine. Why does Rillaru still have so much health left? Yes, thank you, overpowered item. Uh, Rillaru's still gonna win. He's just got so much health. Three, two, one, go. Yay, let's start with the overpowered item. That makes me happy. Hit two people with that. Rillaru is out. Can we get the missiles as well? 
Thank you for using that against Koala Kong, Cortex. Just me and Cortex now. Oh yeah, I did get the missiles. But I missed with them. Wonderful. No. Why does he have full health? Come on. I can't win like that. I just could not hit him with those missiles. Three, two, one, go. All right, I got the first power up. That was pretty scary. All right, uh, Cortex got TNT'd. That's gonna be a big help. Koala Kong's our threat this time. And he's the only one left. Well then. Good thing I got an overpowered item. Gotta wait till his invincibility frames go out. Great, now he's got that item. Crash Bash is full of really hectic minigames. They're fun, though. It's possible for things to be fun and frustrating at the same time. I totally blew that up with my spin, but I was temporarily invincible. Gosh darn it. Spashta! I was not trying to hit that, I was trying to hit the other crate, but whatever. Go. Oh, that seriously hit me. Whatever game. I'm fine with them getting the power-ups just as long as they use them on each other instead of on me. He saved me there, because I was going to make the stupid mistake of spinning that. Gosh darn it, why does he have to have so much health? He recovers so much. I just did not have the time to take him out there because he recovers so much. And the reason they recover so much more than I do is because they can get rid of those special crates more quickly. And 
and they can pretty much instantly get the Wumpa Fruit rewards from them. Whereas I can't, I have to actually go get them after breaking the crate. All right, this is looking really good. Yeah, he didn't have much health left and I had that item, so... He's finally able to get that one. These are definitely getting harder, but uh, that's to be expected considering we already beat the game. We are like at post-game territory, even though we could have done these before beating the game. Anyways, on to Jungle Fox. Avoid the attacks from the totem pole. Three, two, one, go! What's the totem pole gonna do differently this time? Oh, that. Those dead better not be insta-kill or I'm not gonna be happy. Can those hurt the other characters? I mean, they're definitely gonna be aimed at me. So they're not insta-kill. Yeah, but just because they'd be aimed at me doesn't mean that they can only hurt me. Okay, well, we were close. Cortex had a lot of health, but we took care of the other two. This is not going super well, but then I got missiles. I can't move. And I'm totally wasting all my missiles. I got someone with it. Whoa! Did the totem just win that for me? So I'm pretty sure Rillaroo just got hit by the totem's projectile. Alright, just too many games to go. On to Toxic Dash. I'm pretty sure that we can't touch any of the little slime guys or we lose. It might be lava now instead of slime too. No, it's still slime. Of course, lava is the last one, Dante's Dash. Avoid getting sludge in your engines. Three, two, oh, I don't think the sludge insta-kills you, but it does make you really slow, so uh, that's kind of a problem in a race. Getting knocked off the stage also counts as getting sludge in your engines, and I am just getting hit non-stop. That sucks. But yeah, look at how slow we move now. Alright, it looks like you can get rid of it if you use turbo. I didn't realize that. But we are way too far behind now. Or it's not turbo that gets rid of it, it just goes away after a little while. Still, though, we got knocked around too much, and now I'm accidentally going backwards, because this is awkward. Three. Yeah, as if we weren't seeing this fail screen enough, we're really going to be seeing it a lot here in the late game. Okay, so as long as we stay in the middle, we should be fine. It's just if we get knocked around that it'll be bad. Gosh darn it. Not go backwards and do not get knocked off the edge there, please. This Wumpa fruit might be best spent when I have sludge in my engines. 
just because going too fast can make it hard to control. But I think using turbo while you have the sludge will put you at a good speed where you can still control yourself. Yeah, that worked really well. And we've won. None of those guys even made it to the last lap. On to the last minigame of the video. Ring Ding. What the heck is the crystal here gonna be? I think we have to avoid certain balloons. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Avoid bursting balloons that are not your color. That's what I thought. If we hit someone else's balloon, we probably just lose. Which is gonna make things really awkward when uh, when the black balloon gets involved. Although it doesn't look like the black balloon is gonna appear because they know that would be really unfair. Plus, technically, the black balloon is also not your color. Yes, come towards me. The vacuum is so helpful on this ch challenge specifically. I mean, it's always helpful. Here's a black balloon. You fail. I turned them all my color, and I had the vacuum. I was doing well. But then they turned them all their color, too, and I knew that was going to be an issue. I knew that was a, a problem that was going to happen, and it did. I thought I got that black balloon, but whatever. Guess I'm really gonna have to keep my eye on the uh, on if anyone is near the black balloon. Otherwise, you really risk just you know having the balloons immediately change into something that you really don't want to touch. Yeah, like, that totally would have killed me. Man, even without hitting other people's balloons, I still didn't have enough. I was down by two. <laughs> Alright, they're all mine now. I almost died there because I was in the middle of getting a balloon when he hit that. I knew he was going to do that. I saw him over there. I knew he was going to do it, but I got to get the points, man. What am I supposed to do? 
Go. I didn't have enough points last time. I gotta get what I can. Yeah, that yellow balloon was so close to so many other balloons, I did not want to touch it. Gosh darn it. These challenges where you have to completely avoid something that can insta-kill you, they can be just really nerve-wracking. It can just be over at any moment. I couldn't even see where the black balloon was there, honestly. I didn't think there was one. I figured there had to be, because once it shows up, there always is, but... I didn't see it. Oh, come on. That was a depth perception issue there. I thought I was way further back. Three, two, one, go. All right, good. All my color. People weren't by the black balloon, although they are now. Are you kidding me? I turned them into all my color, and then someone else immediately turned it back, like, right after I got mine. Like, the black balloon spawned on them. That's really dumb. The balloons totally shouldn't even be in reach when they first spawn. They should come down from high up, which is what I thought happens, but apparently not. It looks like that's what happens, but then how the heck did they turn it back so quickly? I'm in the lead for now, but not by much. Alright, I won this one. I'm not even gonna try anything else. Not risking it. You win. I got far enough ahead that I could just sit back, so that's what I did. Oh boy, these are getting really hard. But, this is where things get interesting. Cause, we're not gonna go up to uh, Warp Zone 5 yet, cause there are some mini games that could only be opened through getting relics, and we don't have any relics yet. So it is time to go back and get some relics. And for that, we are gonna start with Warp Room 1, of course. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that there are no sapphire relics in this game, it's just gold and platinum. 
so I guess in the next video we'll get all the gold relics on Warp Zone 1. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.